Lady Luck has smiled on me. I'm right on track in the driver's seat. And I'm riding high. I'm in the big time now. These are my people, yeah. This is my town. I'm lucky or what? I love this job. <laughs> The death of well-known city councilwoman... Wait a minute. Do you think I should say well-known or well-known? I'm, I'm going to say well-known. Okay. The death of well-loved city councilwoman Margaret Patterson... ...has moved this community deeply. Ma'am, good to see you. Think we'll pull a crowd like this the day they plant us, Art? She certainly was a master at playing to the people. She wasn't playing, Art. She really meant it. That's what made her so damn irritating. Speaking of irritating, Richard, back off. I know the perfect person to finish our Don't suggest just... your brother-in-law again, Art. Just don't. The people will want me to appoint someone who was close to her. She must have had someone in her camp that I can work with. No, no. She was in it at best and brightest garbage. A moment of silence while we remember Marge Patterson. me and the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Nice car, mister. Yeah, stay the hell away from it, kid. Hey, still picking the winners, Lou, huh? You're looking good. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Coming through. Come through. Excuse me. Shh. I'm the deceased ex. Surely. Goodness and mercy. What about Jim Doyle? All the days of my life. To a place where I shine with wealth and okay, house of the Lord forever. Here to loot the grave, Jim? Nice to see you too, Constance. Dumb thing you ever did, babe. He won't be in office a month before the people will want to lynch him. So what's wrong with that? Won't be on our head. Especially when I tell everyone it was Marge's deathbed wish that he be appointed to replace her. Did what? Then we can put in anyone we want. Hey, kid, I told you to stay away from the dog. <laughs> we are definitely on to something here. Frank, I know I owe you five grand. Well, stop screaming, Frank. Oh, Frank, Frank, you're a moron. How'd you ever get five G's to loan me in the first place? Stop talking tough, Frank. I'm not impressed. Take out my liver with an ice pick. Give me a diet soda. No ice. Oh, pity. Yeah. Okay. That's Cimarron Sam in the third. Oh, <coughs> uh, Benny, could I get back to you before post time? My sucker alarm just went off. Oh, I did. Uh, 
play a little pool, do you? Yeah, I played some in school. Yeah? Yeah, well, I used to play a little myself, but, you know, damn arthritis, I hardly hold a stick anymore. Of course, we can play a friendly game, if you like, uh, keep the stakes low, say, 50 bucks. Actually, I'm from City Hall. Uh, oh, oh uh, City Hall. Uh, I thought we had a deal, huh? Okay, Doyle, uh, I fill out the forms like you say. When do I get citizenship? Oh, uh, oh, hey, uh, don't you worry. Now, your donation is going to get to the leper colony. Don't you worry. Mr. Doyle, if you could just... Have you me... got a warrant? Well, no, uh, but this is not an arrest. The mayor just wants to talk to you uh, about your political future. All right, all right. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Just checking to see if you're wearing a wire, son. I gotta say, this is an interesting proposition. So, if I accept, this will all be mine? You won't own it, Jim. <laughs> right, right. It'll be my precinct. Uh, district. Yeah, whatever. Well, I don't know. This is my... Busy time of year. I've got a pretty full plate. <laughs> uh, do I get a limo and a driver? Yeah, I'm afraid not. A car? Not really. Free towing? My car breaks down a lot. We'll see. I accept. I've been looking for a way to give something back to society. And after you meet your staff, Richard can set up a televised press conference for you, if you like. Press conference? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mayor, uh, how do you think this jacket will come off on the tube? Honestly? Yeah. With you in it? Great. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. You know the five grand, are you? Now, if I could get your liquor license back for the bikini bar, would we call it even? <laughs> well, let's just say I stepped in it. Big job. Hey, oh, come on. I know these are trying times. But remember what Marge always said. There's absolutely nothing we can't overcome. Well, happy days are here again. The name's Jim Doyle. I've been appointed councilman for the 7th District. There's no need to get up. I'm not that kind of boss. Ah, oh, all right, all right, fine. I plan to get rid of some of the dead wood anyway. Sure. There's a bus leaving in 10 minutes. Shouldn't you be under it? I knew they'd appoint some corrupt slug. But I didn't know they'd stoop this low. Oh, I take it you weren't in on my selection. I'm not going to let you destroy everything Marge worked for. This isn't just a job for me. This is my life. Ah, oh, one of those. You can't get a date. I'm going to watch you every minute. I'm going to be on you like a pit bull on a pork chop. Yeah, well, I knew it was too good to be true. All right. You want to hang around? It's okay with me, but you just stay out of my way. There's no door. Marge didn't have a door. She said a public servant should have nothing to hide. Oh. Get me a door. Well, what do you, what do you think you're doing? I'm getting organized. This is going to be my seat of power. Well, well you can't just throw these away. These are official papers. Mm. Marge told me all about you. Your bookmaking, your scams, your carousing. Yeah? Did uh, she tell you about the time we made it? Right here on this desk? If anybody's looking for me, they can probably catch me on the 5 o'clock news. Oh, what time did Marge start to work around here? 8 a.m., sometimes 7. Great, great. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Now, uh, how many councilmen take you out for a beer after a successful press conference, huh? Is that thing running? Uh, another idea I have is to, uh, 
do away with parking tickets. I mean, the guy goes into a liquor store, spends a couple of minutes too long, he owes the city 20 bucks. Now, what kind of crap is that? Bernie, Bernie, how are you? Set him up for the gentlemen and the ladies of the press, huh? Who's paying, Doyle? Bernie, I'm your new city councilman. I don't care if you're the new pope. I just want to know who's paying for the booze. Richard, Richard, make a note. I want the building inspector out here. Check up on all the toilets in this joint, huh? You pay for the drinks, would you? Put them on the expense account. Oh, well, we usually don't put drinks on expense accounts. Yeah, well... You're right, you're right. No, the people shouldn't pay for this. Uh, would you pay for the drinks, Richard? I'll take care of you later. Mm -hmm. Don't think I'll forget this now. Now, another idea I had was to... Get the city to go easier on the bikini bars. Now, that's a wholesome entertainment as far as I'm concerned. Mr. Councilman. Well, if it isn't my little buddy. I'm sorry, I didn't bring my car today. Please help me. I want to take Uncle George's house. Arch promised she would help. She was my friend. Would you excuse me just a minute, please? Thank you. Hey, Richard. Let's just uh, give me a couple of Lincolns for the kid. Here, kid. Here's ten. Here's ten. Go buy yourself a belt. Your pants are falling down. I don't want a belt. Here, here's twenty. Get out of here, and that's my last offer. Somebody's got to help us. Come on, Doyle. Give the kid a break. I mean, here's your constituent asking you to help. When he can vote, I'll worry about it. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, kid, take me to your house. Kid's got a problem. He came to the right guy. A man's home is his castle. So what if Mr. Crane doesn't have a green thumb? Or is he even much of a Mr. Fix-It or maybe even a complete slob? It's his house. He worked for it. He wants to live like a parakeet. It's his right. It's the American way. Now, this young boy, this sweet young boy loves his Uncle George, and I'm going to make sure that... His Uncle George keeps his house. When you have city councilman Jim Doyle on your side, you definitely have someone on your side. Sinners beware. The end is near. All people are eaten by the worms of hell. The flesh is foul. America is diseased. And the devil is a woman. Now, who can argue with that? Thank you. Thank you. So... I feel that the park should be cleaned up. Oh, I can remember the first day I ever went to the park. Back in 1931. It was just lovely. There were flowers everywhere. Oh, mostly fuchsia. Rhododendron. But I digress. Nowadays, the park is going downhill. Just last week, my mother tripped on the broken pavement in the park and busted her hip. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, and I can assure you that the council will inform the yeah, Department of Public Works. I move the council adjourn for lunch. I second. Jim, I say this in all sincerity. You are exceeding my greatest expectations. Well, you give me a couple of days, I'll be on top of everything around here. That's a whole new racket I'm in, Rita. I'm not sure she's good for my image. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, she's pretty popular. Yeah. You're right. Keep it. Thanks. Oh, Constance. Constance, you getting along all right with Rita? Fine. I like her. Yeah, well, you, you're not going to find girls with her qualifications during the receptionist work very often. I'm sure. Two arrests for prostitution make for a hell of an unusual resume. Yeah. Rita. Rita, would you get in here? Are you sending out newsletters now, Rita? No, Jim. Uh, I, I, call downtown and see if... Uh, Frank got his liquor license, huh? <laughs> Like Frank really needs a license to drink. <laughs> uh, 
then call to the Hall of Records, and I want you to see who's trying to buy up all the lots around Uncle Looney Toon's place. Then get hold of all the city councilmen and see if they'd like to give their complimentary tickets to the playoffs to charity. Oh, Jim, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, Rita. That's all, Rita. Oh. Eddie, Eddie, this is Doyle. Looks like I'm going to come into a fistful of playoff tickets. I'll let you have them for 50 bucks a piece. What do you say? Give me that. What? what? Well, you're despicable. Eddie, Eddie. I told you I'm not going to let you run your filthy scams out of this office. Do me a favor. Get yourself a boyfriend and stay out of my life. Oh, you really don't get it, do you? Get what? That they only chose me because I'm odds on favor to shoot myself in the foot. Hell, I was onto that from day one. What do you take me for anyway? Small time grifter. Small time grifter? That's what Marge used to call you when she was mad. I knew I'd heard that someplace before. Constance. Constance. Constance, are you a betting woman? Absolutely not. Oh, what if I were to tell you that's the only way you're going to get rid of me? I'm in. All right, here's the plan. If I can't stop the wrecking ball from going through the lunatic's house, then I'll resign. But if I do pull it off, you resign. What do you say? There's no way you can pull that off. Then bet me. All right. You're on. Great, great. Now, I know you're anxious to see me go down in flames, so go pick up the kid and the lunatic and meet me at Kelly's. Kelly's? Yeah, I gotta make my rent. That guy can't earn a living on what a councilman makes in this burg. Rita. Yeah. Rita, could you sign it? But to Jimbo, who taught me all about love, Madonna. All about love. Okay, got it. George, you and I are going to do something very radical. Oh. We're going to try speaking normal English. Now, do you think you can do that? I'll try. Ah, uh, good, good. Now, who's trying to get your house? She is the serpent's head. She slithered into the citadel's womb on her belly, tongue flicking. Hold that thought, George. Doyle, let's face it, you're out of your league. The only thing I feel bad about is Rita. I hate to see her lose her job. Oh, well, don't you worry about her. She's getting your office. George. George, did the Pharaoh begat the serpent's head? Yes. Uh, and the locust plague spread at night. Uh-huh. And uh, did the serpent's teeth come from hell? No. Five of Satan's children came to take my seed. Yeah, and can heaven's gate open for the lion's roar? Not until the angels sing forevermore. Ah, uh, yes, George. <laughs> Piece of cake. Piece of cake. The mayor sent five speculators over to his place to put the screws to him. If I were you, I'd start checking the warrant ads. I don't believe this. You didn't understand a word he said. When I was a kid, I was a shield for an evangelist. You get to know your Bible. The devil is a woman. Hush. Jim, what are you doing here? Well, I heard you had a horse running today. This is him, Jack Hammer. He'll be running in the fifth race. I'd bet on him to win if I were you. Oh, damn, I wish I'd have known. I already bet on the number four horse. Four's my lucky number. Number four horse is dead meat. 16 to 1 odds. You know, I don't know too much about gambling. That's why I don't ever come to the racetrack much. Oh, Jim, I'd like you to meet my trainer. Hey, Doyle, how did you sneak in? <laughs> Hi, Jonesy. How are you? Oh, I think I met him at one of Marge's fundraisers. How bad? Are you sure you wouldn't rather watch the race from my box? No, no, I like to be down here with the people. I like to watch the horses sweat. Come to think of it, I'm going to enjoy watching you sweat. I find you stimulating, Doyle. Yeah, you're pretty good at sending blood gushing to the right parts of the body yourself. <laughs> and the flag is up. What are they doing here? Oh, oh, well, 
it's okay, Elizabeth. I invited them. Well, why on earth would you do that? So they'd be handy for the press conference. What press conference? The one where I announce that George gets to keep his house, and uh, you and I announce our new housing reclamation measure. What? And they're off. Not now. There goes your jackhammer. If you're talking about Marge's old measure, I hated it two years ago, and I hate it now. Well, you better get to like it real soon, because the press is going to be here any minute. Are you crazy? I'm not going to endorse that measure to the press. All right, all right. We'll talk about Barham Realty. What? Well, I don't know quite how to put this, but my assistant, Rita, she was in a position to squeeze some information out of Bill Barr. Seems that Barham Realty has been supplementing your income in exchange for favors. Public's going to be pretty shocked when they hear about that. This is black, man. No, no, it's politics. You not son of a... Trump. Go ahead and announce the measure. But from here on out, it'll be total war. Good luck. Oh, uh, luck is for suckers. By the way, Your Highness, uh, my horse won by three links. Excuse me. Let's go to the ticket window. Polls indicate that City Councilman Jim Doyle's popularity has soared despite his sometimes outrageous behavior. Today, he introduced a measure that would allow City Councilman the use of a limousine and a driver. Oh, shucks. Are they talking about me again? How did you find out so fast who those speculators were? Well, I have my connections, right, Rita? Right, Jim. Um, Frank called and invited you to the grand opening of his bikini bar, and, um, he said to forget about the five grand. Oh, I love this job. Uh, Rita, Rita, uh, could you help Constance clean out her desk? This is her last day. Oh, no. Jim, is it because of the way she dresses? Because I think that I could work on that, you know? I really like her. Thanks, Rita. But that's okay, because I'm not leaving. Oh, no, come on. We, we had a deal, remember? I'm Welshy. No, that's immoral. Not when you bet against a guy like you. Night, Rita. Look, look, if you hate me so much, why do you want to stay? I owe it to Marge to make you miserable. Anybody can make me miserable. She can. Long, wrong day. You, um, you want a back rub or something, Doyle? Oh, no, thank you, Rita. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, could I go home just a little bit early tonight? I got a real date. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, great, yeah. Okay, thanks. Night. measure pass in one week you couldn't get past two years not bad for a small dime grifter